What's up guys, Judic Steve here and welcome back to my channel. In this video guys, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag drag and drop ng text sa inyong PowerPoint presentation while you are presenting. And if you happen to be here, make sure you don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I publish my latest videos. Pero bago ang lahat, intro muna! Hey guys, by the way, regarding dun sa fundraising activity that we did in the first week of January, okay, if you could still remember yung fundraising activity for the who suffered because of the typhoon and that, we just would like to give you transparency lang kung how many amount that we got with that um, fundraising activity. So, ito po, papakita ko lang sa inyo, ito po yung amount na nakuha natin sa ating YouTube video. Ito po yun. So, as you can see, maliit lang kasi because we are only a small YouTuber yung maliit lang. Tapos, I only gained one donation coming from my friend. Thank you so much, Ariel Basi. Thank you so much for donating. And with that, guys, I have decided, kasi maliit lang, I, we cannot or I cannot start a charity works. So, maliit lang yung amount natin. So, and also I have decided that instead of giving it for those people who are still doing um, relief operations para sa typhoon death instead of doing so na ibibigay ko doon I have decided guys sorry if this will break your heart oh <laughs> hindi ko tinupad yun nasa video natin um I decided na i-give lang muna to sa aking student who's suffering because of cancer stage 4 I decided to do it because it's an urgent thing to do okay it's urgent thing yun so hopefully you understand hopefully you won't bash me because I'm doing so Sorry, sorry. And then also, guys, um, for this video, I continually give the amount that I'll be getting for this video. I, I will continue to give to Josh. Hopefully, support him. And then, hopefully, you continue to share this video to everyone. Okay? Continue to share this video to everyone. Please. Pwede nyo itong panuwalin na paulit-ulit na paulit-ulit para lang mas maki yung revenue for this video para may bigay natin to Josh. Thank you. Um, hopefully in this little way I could also give something for him to him because it's become part of my life okay yun and then yun yun lang yun guys hopefully you understand lang hindi ko lang ibibigay doon kasi um, I can start a charity work with that amount okay? instead I'll be giving it to Josh na mas nangangailangan okay? he is needing it more right now it, this is an urgent need for him okay? instead of giving it to others I'll be giving it to him this is my own decision. This is my coming from a rational rationalization. Yun, mas importante at mas necessary para sa kanya ngayon yung pera. Hopefully you understand lang. Huwag niyo kong i-bash siya. Huwag niyo kong i-bash. Char. Yun, yun guys. And with that, let's proceed to the tutorial. Thank you so much. Okay guys, for this video again, we'll be using our PowerPoint presentation, Microsoft Office PowerPoint for our presentation. And again, um, this will be only good for text, okay? If you're expecting this to work on objects, it won't work that way. This is only possible for the text. So, for the objects, it would be for another video tutorial already. Pero for this time, this is only for the text. And this is um, a very easy way to do it. The very easy way when we are using actually the powerpoint for the drag and drop and other things um, other complicated things in powerpoint we are actually creating codes to do that but by this time we will be doing it and we will be doing the easiest way okay to drag and drop the text this actually happened because my mom actually asked me to make a powerpoint presentation for him for her class observation okay class observation so you um what happened is, I created something for her. Tapos, ito na po. Papakita ko lang sa inyo what happened. Her topic actually is all about the whole numbers. So, yun. Tapos, going down here, yeah. I, I don't necessarily have to open everything para makilihan nyo lahat. No, it's not. I'll just go immediately to this drag and drop. That part. Okay, I guess this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, let me present this for you. And it's here. Okay. 
Now, here is what we or what I mean on drag and drop. So as you can see here, this is the text. The instruction is order the following numbers in decreasing order in the ladder box. Okay, this is the ladder box. Six, seven, and the numbers here. And start with the greatest value. Start here. Okay. I created this next, which is um, using the hyperlink for the reason that uh, in order for me to be able to move to the next slide kasi pag uh, yeah while we are using this it won't be difficult for us to move to the next slide kaya yun I place this so pwede nyo lagyan lang na ganito um yeah let's start from let's start with the greatest value so 6, 7 6, 7, 5, 7 I guess this is the greatest value okay all you have to do actually here is to highlight and then drag it here the next is this one I guess here, yeah, let me finish this one lang tapos let's proceed to the tutorial lang pagkita ko lang sa inyo what actually happens yeah, that's it, and as you can see um, I'm done with this, tapos click ko lang yung next tapos increasing order naman in the ladder box start with the list value so yung list value natin is 8, 2 okay, again, finish ko lang to guys kasi para makita nyo what's happening tapos 8, 7, 8, 8 and yeah, and that's it, and then we're done let's click the next Alright, yeah, and that's it. That's for the click and drag sa ating PowerPoint presentation. Okay, that's how you actually will do it. You just have to highlight and drag it. Now, for this time, let's proceed to the tutorial per se. Okay, let's create a new document or a new PowerPoint presentation. The first thing, the very first thing you have to do, guys, is this. Make sure that you have opened and in or enabled the developer options. This one, the developer. If you haven't enabled it yet, you can do it here. Right click ka lang. Yun. Uh, customize the ribbon or yeah, customize the ribbon. Tapos dito lang, make sure na naka-click ka dito ng developer. Yan ito. Naka-off kasi yan, guys, dito. Make sure na naka-click yan, naka-check ang developer tapos okay lang. And then here, you will also, you will already have the developer options dito. Okay. We we'll say for example, let's change this layout make it black okay we say for example i would like to um create text here we say for example uh, today is blank it's a blank day okay we say for example this is our text guys Okay, example lang guys ha. Okay. We say for example, dito ilalagay ng mga students natin or during observation or demonstration. Dito mo gusto ilagay yung choices. We say for example, here, yung choice nila is today is Monday. Tapos yung next natin dito is Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday. Tapos dito naman, Wednesday Tapos same then Friday and Saturday but eh pati yung nato Fr Wednesday Thursday Friday and then Saturday Tapos dito sa baba let's add say for example it's is sunny sunny day next is rainy Ano pa yung iba Sunny, rainy. Um, ano pa ba? Ay, yun lang, yun lang, yun lang yung alam ko. Anyway, yeah, this is for the second tutorial lang naman. Okay, yeah, we'll say for example, yun, yun po yung ilalagay natin. We want this to actually be placed here. Now, as you can see, as you notice, if we present this right now, if we present this, what happens actually is this. Sige natin to major drag here. Kundi, what happens is, end of the slide, click to exit okay this is not what we want to happen okay this is not so yun again hindi po, yat, hindi po natin yung madadrag so what we what we wanna do is to drag this one here okay and we want it using while we are presenting hindi yung na, nandito tayo kasi yung ibang tutorial kasi yung ginagawa nila pinapalit lang nila to tapos yung ginagawa nila is to drag this one no hindi it won't happen that way hindi po ganyan so yun um it's good, I guess, to erase these choices first. Erase that. Again, erase, erase. We won't be using this. What you have to do is this. 
you go to the developer then click this one text box active x control tapos you click here and create Microsoft Office identify potential security concern. Enable ActiveX. Enable mo lang. Tapos dito. Tapos, text box, object, click the edit lang. Tapos, lagay mo dito yung choices. You say, for example, Monday. Para ma-move pala to. Hindi pa to, per, hindi pa to yung final. Para ma-move to, guys, make sure na mag-create ka rin dito ng box. So, I guess, i-copy lang natin. Oh, yeah, lagay lang tayo dito. Tapos, right-click din natin. Tapos, property sheet. And then, disable, change to enable. And then, close. Ayan na. Try natin ng sample at saka dito. Para makita natin if this really works. Okay, present natin. During first interview. Highlight natin and then move. Okay, yeah. It moves actually. Namumove siya. So, yun. So, Okay. Move na natin. Balik lang natin dito. Sample this one. Change natin to Fredo ka. Fredo ka. Alright. Wait lang guys ha. Adjust natin to. Here. And this one. Adjust natin to. Ito dito. And then next is Tuesday. And so on and so forth. Okay guys, so yun. So Monday, Tuesday, and so on and so forth. Hindi ko na necessarily ilalagay. Siguro yung ilalagay ko na lang is yung for the sunny day. Sunny day. And then the next is for... Sorry. So I should control Y. And then rainy day. Rain. Okay. Baka rainy day to Charles. Alright, sige. Let's try to move na kung if it's actually it, if it really works. Try natin. Let's present. Highlight natin and then move it here. Tapos, today is Monday. It's a sunny day. So, yun. Yun na guys. Um, that's how you actually move um, text yeah, to drag and drop text using only the developer options here. Ito po. Okay, that's how you actually text box active X control. So, yun. so yun guys, um if you yun na po, yun na po yung drag and drop tutorial natin para sa PowerPoint presentation. Um while we are presenting. Again, if we try to click it here, tapos si move natin to balik dito, tapos yung sunny day dito. Yun. Pwede na po. And then ano pa? Um, you can actually change its font kung gusto nyo. Ang yung gagawin lang is to right click, tapos text box. Um, no, not text box object, but then property sheet. Change nyo lang dito. Tapos nakikita nyo dito sa properties, lahat po nandito is. Okay, lahat po nandito. Um, you can actually change its font color. Pwede mo lang i-change. So, ah, pwede ka lang dito sa alphabet. Okay, dito sa four color, pwede nyo lang i-change. Example dito, pwede lang. Or, ano pa? Um, ano pa bang pwede? Uh, ito okay depende sa inyo tapos yung font pwede po nyo i-change kasi for example yung gusto nyo na font is same same nung font ko na ginagamit sa akin um, same dito yung today is so fredo ka po yan click it natin tapos ang size is siguro mga third mga 24 okay tapos okay nyo lang tapos again change natin yung color Siguro green, something like that. Tapos, yung border color niya is siguro mga brown. Or, ito. Okay. Okay, kayo na bahala kung whatever is it that you want there. Kayo na bahala. Close lang natin. Tapos, move natin yung iba. Okay. Move natin ito para makita yung mante. Yun. At, yan. Yan. Okay, para while well, we are presenting already, we say for example dito, wait, um, may, minus lang natin yung mga, okay, minus lang natin guys, para hindi masyadong mas, okay, yan. While we are present, okay, pwede na pong ganyan, tapos yung drop natin dito. Okay, make sure na, as you, as you can notice, dito po, iba po yung font niya, kasi iba po ang font ng box na to. So make sure na the same po yung um, format ng font 
ng format ng box na to dito tsaka yung format dito okay so, ano gagawin natin right click lang or delete na lang natin to and copy this one here okay tapos dito lagay na ulit natin yung monday monday tapos as you will notice here pag highlight natin tapos i drop natin dito what appears is Monday na. Okay, hindi na po siya. Okay, hindi na po the same na font kanina na Arial or Calibri ba yun. So, nakikita nyo Fredo ka font na yung gamit tapos may kulay na rin. Okay. Pero, pag i-move na rin natin to dito, again, same problem kasi iba po yung format ng box na to. Okay. Kaya, make sure na magpare-pareho po sila ng format. Kaya, before you copy it, make sure na i-adjust mo muna yung one box ng format. Tapos, copy mo na yung isang box. Okay. So, i-delete natin ito kasi iba yung font nito. Okay. Tapos, i-delete din natin ito. Then, copy this one. And then, place this one here. Tapos, dito. Tapos, let's add another one. Siguro ito. Delete ito na lang. Tapos, siguro lagyan natin siya ng font or ng text na um, rainy. Sorry. It's rainy. Yun. Rainy day. Tapos, again, present this one, highlight, and then drag. Yun. Yun. Pareho na po sila ng um, font. Basically, that's all guys for our tutorial for this drag and drop text in our PowerPoint presentation while we are presenting. Hopefully, you learned something of this video to help you have a more engaging and a more interactive way in having your class. Surely, again, this will help your class to be a bit more um, interactive. Surely, I assure you that. And also guys, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I publish my latest video. Kahit minsan lang ako mag-upload. Char! This has been Junix TV. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and God bless.